Let's just do it in unison for once in our lives. All right. What's up, guys? We're back. You're supposed to wait for me. That's what that means. Good, good way to be boring. You're supposed to wait for me. That's what that means. Good way to be boring. I'm not putting up with this. Well, we're doing this exciting video. Just way to be boring. Apologize to me. No, sit down. Stop being so cringe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Apologize come on. to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's up guys, we're back. And this week, we're finally doing it. We've talked about it before. We've tweeted about it. We should have been preparing for it this entire time, but we haven't. But now, we're doing it. We are surviving in the wild for 48 hours. 48 hours. That means you sleep twice, you starve for two days, and you potentially get eaten alive by an animal or get a really bad rash of some sort. <laughs> We're not just surviving in the wild, there's rules to this, to make it hard. But before we do that, we have to go to the wild, pretty much. So, we should do that uh, before anything, cause, cause if we don't go this to- is, This is just a purple couch, it's not really the wild. Yeah, we should do that. Ow, 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 Grayson, Dude, we haven't even started Dude. yet, Ethan. Ow, it's in my leg, it's in my leg, it's in my leg, get it off, get it off. Ow! Can you go to the pricker side? Yeah. All right, thanks. Here we are, in the middle of nowhere, also known as our, our deep in our backyard. In, in the woods, in our backyard. In New Jersey, yeah. So in preparation of this survival challenge, Ethan and I went out and we collected a few supplies. Why are you talking like that? You're talking like a travel guide. We got things like knives, fire starters, and pots. We're gonna pick out of a hat to see which three items we're allowed to take with us on our journey for the next two days in the wild. Why are you, he's still weirding me out. Why are you talking like that? He's like so fluent. Like for the first time in your life, you're like, a, like this is your natural habitat or something. The five items that we were picking from are similar as in the way you use them, but some are a little bit better than the others. Which means that one person will have the greater advantage in one field while the other will suffer. Here are the rules of the challenge. You'll not be able to wear shoes. You had it going for Put your foot while. up. You can only wear shorts. You can, you can only wear this. You can only bring what's on your back and your ass. In the back of your ass. Can you stuff in your ass to bring? You are not to go inside of the house. The house is on the property, but it is, it is nowhere near us right now. It is forbidden. You have to stay and sleep in your own shelter that you build out of the materials of the wilderness. You cannot eat anything that you don't hunt or catch or pick or find in the wild. Unless, okay, holy you decide to do the unforgivable. Eat a slice of strawberry pizza. Yes, the only food that you will be able to eat if you do not eat from the wilderness, it's strawberry pizza. We have it inside waiting for us. Um, not only will you take the L of eating strawberry pizza, but you get a strike. All transportation will be by foot. Can't get in a car, on a bike, nothing like that. That's it. It's just you in the wild and you need to survive for two days. We'll be out here for two days and two nights. And now we're going to pick out of the hat to see which tools we will have to aid us in our survival endeavors. This category is building. So I got, I got duct tape, so I got rope. That's way better than rope. I was hoping to get this. I actually wanted to get rope because I wanted, you know, more of a challenge. Okay, so the next element is fire. It, it, building is not an element, but okay, the next thing is fire. We're supposed to grab to, our- To stay we're hydrated? We're supposed to grab our resources and show them before. Yeah, we're supposed, okay. All right, so here's my rope. This is my tape. Oh, this is, I'm gonna make a suit out of this. I'm gonna do a lot with this. I'm gonna become tape man. So, fire, it's pretty essential out here. Especially if you want to purify water to stay hydrated out in this heat, you're gonna need something like fire and to, to cook anything that you catch. How do you know all this? Grayson literally spends his not? whole entire life watching survival videos. Lighter! Wow. I got magnesium. If you hit it on the right angle, you can make a spark. I got a lighter. Ooh. Dude, you don't even know how to use it. Yeah, you push this button. Why well, is it like a flamethrower? That's what it is. This will help us gather resources and hunt and build and everything. This is one of our most important tools. All right, let's see what we got. Yes. F yes, okay, I needed that. I got a little bitch knife. Ethan got the little bitch knife and I got the sword. I don't trust you with that thing. This thing will help me chop through stuff like like weeds and bushes. This will help me do absolutely fucking nothing. Next category. As you know, it is light outside right now and it's not scary. It's just a nice, beautiful summer day. We're enjoying the nature, but it's gonna get scary it's gonna get dark i'm not gonna be pleased about it there's a lot of bears out here and deer and coyotes coyotes and foxes so this will help us have a little bit more confidence at night okay i got a can yes i got a candle i got a flashlight not just a flashlight it is a robust flashlight yes i have a candle it's just a white candle that has a really small flame that will probably do nothing for me am i like the cops watch out no 
I'm very happy about this flashlight. This is our last item. Uh, this will help us gather water and carry water, cook, everything like that. Um, everything you need to do to actually survive. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I don't really know about all this. I got the pot. I got a canteen. What is this in case I find some spaghetti? I have a canteen. It's made out of stainless steel, so I can boil water in here to purify it. I think that's just a water bottle. Also, the last rule of the games is that you cannot help each other. You can't team up. We've been working together for our entire lives, so we're not used to doing things. Um, oh wait, last thing, last thing, last thing. We each are allowed to have our phones until they die. My phone is charged to 100%. I'm gonna have to, what's it called, ration? You have to have to ration the, the no. bat life. Right now, Ethan and I are going to separate and wander into the wilderness to survive on our own for the next 48 hours. Kind of scared for you. Supposed to be intense, bro. You're like tapping right. my shoulder. Sorry. Let Dip. the let the survivals begin. See ya. Bye. You'll be good. Give me a hug. You'll be good. Bro. All right. Well, I'll remember that. All right. So we're really doing this. I'm gonna go find the land that I want to set up my shelter on and start building my shelter now. I also have to keep in mind that it's very hot, and I know that we haven't been out here like at all yet. But I haven't eaten today. I haven't drank anything, so I'm gonna need to get water, look for some food and kind of I'll do that while I'm building my shelter at the same time. Gotta keep in mind that I need to make a fire to purify the water too because I'll be getting my water from a river and river water is not very clean. I have to boil water. I'm gonna be drinking hot water for the next 48 hours. All right, the rocks already hurt my feet. I think Grayson's underestimating me, honestly. Look, I already got my pot so I can carry all of my items. He doesn't have that. I need to make like a little home base, like campsite. I'm also starving. I didn't eat anything today. And I'm also really thirsty because I didn't drink anything today. Oh, there's a worm! Should I eat it? Let's figure out where I'm gonna make my campsite. I think I just hit the jackpot. The berry jackpot. There's so there's so many berries! It's not kind of like a weirdo, but I'm starving. Um, there's a lot of berries here, but I don't know if they're edible. I don't really, ow, oh, they're like hard as a rock. They're kind of like stones, actually. Berries shouldn't be that hard, right? That one sucks. All right, so I guess I'll just pick some, just in case they are edible, and then I'll use my phone to do some research to see if I will die if I eat these or not. Honestly, if I was like surviving back in the day, I could be the berry picker. That's a pretty sick job. I feel like I'd be like, really respected in the community as a berry picker. Wow. So this is where I've decided to set up. We got some flat ground right here, this tree for support, and then the river over here. If I get thirsty, I just go down there, get some water and bring it up and purify it. I'm planning on making a fire near my shelter, not only to purify the water and cook food, but to keep the mosquitoes out. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for it. I've gotten a few bites already while I'm out here. I'm going to go set up my house. Let's do it. As I stumbled deeper into the woods, I realized something that could be a big issue in my survival journey. I'm already really bored. Like I could probably just survive and stuff, but like I'm just bored. Like what am I gonna do all day? It's the morning. I already got berries. Ow! And you know, every once in a while I'll step on something sharp, so it'll be a little exciting. I think I found the perfect living space. Come on, let's go on a little tour. So here we have the theater, the in-home theater. I'm very fortunate to be able to own one of these myself. And over here, we have just a bunch of grass and sticks and leaves. I'm gonna get rid of this because it looks like it's been taken over by the termites. All right, I need to start building shelter or else I'm gonna be fucked because, actually this is not a bad like bed, honestly. But I just like lay here. Oh! Oh shit, that scared me. So these big green thick pieces of bamboo right here are gonna be great for a mattress. I know that might sound kind of weird right now, but I'll show you what I mean later. Um, so I'm gonna collect some of those. Um, and the good thing is that cutting down the bamboo won't really affect the bamboo that grows on this property because bamboo multiplies like crazy. If you plant one, 10 more will be there when you wake up the next day. I'm not even kidding, it grows like a foot a week. I should probably eat so I can, you know, survive or something like that, so I don't die. Let's look up the berries. What kind of berries are safe to eat? Blue, black, or purple, or edible. Red berries, normally edible. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I did it right. Oh, I feel like these are just gonna make me throw up instead of fill me up. Sour one. As I was scorching under the blistering sun, I realized something. I gotta find shade. I found shade. Now I know that doesn't really look like a mattress, but I'm not done yet, I promise. I just have to cut the tops off, take these, split them in half, and uh, you just watch, if you want. I'm 
doing pretty good. The only issue is I'm really fucking bored. So I'm gonna try to figure out a game that I can make. A nice solitaire game. A game that I can play dolo. What can I make? I made a game. It's called Get the Stone in the Triangle of Sticks. Alright, let's see how many I can get in a row. <laughs> see if I can get three in a row. Nope. One. Two! Sink this. do that. <laughs> Learn from your mistakes before you make them. Bamboo actually holds a little bit of rainwater at the top. It's rained recently and it has. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but there's a little swig I can catch. That actually tastes so good. I'm blistering. Um, but I gotta go chop a tree down to build my bed frame. Knowing how similar Grayson and I are to one another, this is how we're most likely to fail. Honestly, I think it's just figuring out whatever's gonna occupy my time enough for me to not be going mentally insane 100% of the time. I think that's what's gonna win me this challenge. I just have to not be bored as f I guess. Luckily, I still have my phone, which provides pretty great entertainment. But, it's not gonna last forever because my battery is only... How the f*** is that on 40% already? I've barely been using it! It's like 3.30 p.m. I'm extremely exhausted. I think it might be because I haven't eaten or drinking anything pretty much all day. I'm tired. I will not be the strawberry pizza guy. Well, good thing I have all the berries I could ever ask for. Oh, there's a bee. Wait, no, it's right there. Better not sting me. I swear if I get stung out here. These are actually delicious. I could probably get full off these. There's so many of them. Things definitely taste better when you're hungrier. These were way less tolerable before. That just shows how hungry I am. Or maybe it shows um, how much energy I had to be extra before. No, no, it just, I'm hungrier. So the tree that I need is probably gonna be way down there. And that's far away. Into the woods we go. Out of my way. I don't know how I'm gonna get through here. This is a thick, and dense forest, but I need my bed frame. So I found most of the wood that I'm gonna need. The only problem is... Oops. The only problem is, I need to carry it back with me. And it's pretty big and heavy. Here's one piece, I need two more. So right now I'm chilling. It's nice and bright out, but I know that when it gets dark, it's gonna be scary. I need to prepare myself for the night as much as possible while I still have daylight. And to do that, I need to make a place to sleep. Check out my resources. None of this would really make a comfortable bed at all. Or would it? Alright, I'm gonna attempt to make a pillow out of duct tape and brush. Bush. How you may ask? I'm just gonna kinda find out as I go along. Off to a good start. My head is probably like this big. Yeah, it seems about right. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna place this right here. I'm gonna make it nice. Square. Duct tape honestly isn't the easiest thing to work with, but I'm gonna make it happen. I finished my flat duct tape um, square thing. It's beautiful. Now, I'm gonna collect a bunch of bush, put it on here, and then make it top so it's a nice and squishy pillow. Got my knife. The knife kinda worked. All right, first pieces. On. I think this is gonna work. It's like a little nest. <sighs> I'd like to see what masterpiece Grayson's created so far. Check out, I got a raging bush. 
It is now time to in enclose it in some more duct tape so that none of the bugs that are in the bush crawl in my hair. This is gonna work. I'm done with my pillow. Whew. It's actually like nice. Not too squishy, not too firm. It's honestly not bad. You know, it has a little protection. It's pretty squishy. I could definitely sleep on this. There's no way Grayson's crafted anything better than this yet. Yes! As the day grew older, I started to become anxious because I didn't have any shelter for nighttime. So I'm chopping down some bamboo because I need to make a teepee. I need shelter of some sort. Yeah, this is where the little knife f***s you. Ow, f***. Blood warning. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely bleeding. That's not good. I don't know how to care for this in the wild. Oh, yes. Yes! Holy sh! I'm parched. I'm not even kidding, if I didn't get that fire started right now, I probably would have given up. Like I would have had to cave and get water. So I'm planning on feeding this fire and letting the coals get really hot and filling up my canteen with water and then sitting the canteen on the fire and the hot coals until it's boiling and then I'm Gonna put the top egg on, sit it in the cold river until it gets room temperature, and then I'm gonna drink it while I'm sitting in the cold water. And that just sounds amazing. All right, so the water's starting to bubble up. Yes! Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Here's my bottle of water. It's almost cooled off. The water's still very warm, but I don't care. <sighs> oh my god. I've obviously never been thirstier in my life because who would do this, but that tastes so good. I'm gonna fill up another bottle with water and leave it on the coals while I go build my house so that I have another one waiting for me before I go to sleep. My, ass, my house will, my ass will be built. My house will be built and I'll be able to get a good night's sleep. Let's go build this house. So it looks like the sun's really starting to go down now and I'm feeling pretty dehydrated. I don't want to be caught in the dark, dehydrated and scared. So I better get some water while it's still bright out. Uh, Oh, this is disgusting. There's fish in my drinking water. Excuse me, I have to drink that water. The good thing about the pot is I can get a lot of water. Okay, that's a lot of water. What the f there's a bee. Okay, so headed back to my camp. I'm gonna boil this water, and then I think you wait, like I don't even know how long you wait before you drink it, but I'll wait till it gets cool again, I guess. Oh, dude. I left that stick there. This, this video is going great for me right now. Something's gonna need to prop the pot up in order for there to be a fire under it. So I'm gonna grab this wood. Ew! Why does it have fuzz on it? Blech. I just got an idea for the candle. I was thinking it was gonna be useless because I was thinking of using it more as like a light, but I need to transfer that fire over there. And this seems like the easiest way that that's gonna happen. I am a genius. That was the smartest thing I thought of all day. Oh, thank God for this candle. I should probably get a fire going because these bug bites, holy sh That's what's biting me. Get the f get holy sh every time we make s'mores, this is Grayson's job. My job is to make the perfect s'more, his job is to make the fire. Okay, let's see if this lights on fire. Come on, work. Okay, there's sticks, aren't they supposed to catch on fire? Thank god for this lighter. If I had to do that thing. It's not, my, it's not my thing. Patience will be gone. I think it's working. I guess I just wait for the water to boil. Grayson always tells me, you don't know how to start a fire, Ethan. All right, I'm gonna put a roof on it now, just in case it uh, gets rainy. Uh.
pretty good. Now it's time to test this bed out and see what we're sleeping with. Ugh. Not only is it sturdy, but it is actually comfortable. Oh my god, I cannot wait to sleep. Yes! Yes! It's getting really hot out here. I'm sweating like Grayson. Ugh. And I never thought I'd say it, but I'm kind of excited for the sun to go down. I already got to know the area while it's light out. Okay, I know where everything is pretty much. So I don't really understand what's gonna be so hard when it's dark out. Might even be easier. All right, my water is done. Time to let it cool off. <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like I'll have water in no time. Or actually a decent amount of time because it was just boiling. So it's gonna have to cool down from a boil. And like boiling is the hottest that water can get. So it's probably gonna be like a lot of time. It's probably gonna be like the most amount of time it takes for water to cool down. Welcome to my bed. It's not a crib, but it's a bed. I do need to make this, there's a waterproof bed. Because it's not only a bed, it's kind of a house. that has a roof on it and everything like that. But it's not complete until it's waterproof just because we're in the middle of the woods. All right, so these lilies will definitely keep me waterproof. It's literally an umbrella if I ever need one. Oh my god, is this Ethan's place? What even is that? How did he even start a fire here? Where is he gonna sleep? He said to look at his house. I don't see a house here. I'm gonna go back to my luxurious house. So now I'm just gonna use these lilies, cover up top, the under layer, so that I can keep out as much water as possible. Perfect. I'm just making my spear, in case any predator tries to test me tonight. I now have a four-way spear that will Stab in four different places rather than one, which means it's more accurate and more deadly. Yo, I'm not even kidding. I just sat down, fell asleep by accident for I think like two hours. All right, I think the water, it's still kind of warm, but uh, this is not about luxury. It smells normal. Kind of smells burnt. It honestly tastes good. It tastes pure. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I guess the only way to find out is if I get sick or not. It's getting dark. I don't like this. Oh, Wait a second. Boom. Oh, Okay. That's bright. Oh, this works so well. I kind of feel like I'm in a scary video game. Like, I should have, like, those, those crunchy footsteps. And, like, the really deep breaths. You know what I mean? There's not really much for me to do. Um, I think I should probably try to get rest. Um, I guess I've been going so hard all day, making what it takes to survive in the wild. I wanted to make like a bamboo bed, so I didn't have to lay directly on the grass. But uh, yeah, that, that didn't work out. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely bleeding. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have the tools for that. All right, so I got my candle. My fire's all set up to burn when I hold the candle to it. I got some purified warm drinking water for the night. And this fire, it'll scare away all the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes don't like the smoke of it, and most bugs don't, so I'll stay bug free for the night. It worked. I boxed the fire in so it won't get into the, the woods, but I cannot wait to sleep on this thing. It's actually comfortable. It flexes down. I have no food in me, which means I have zero energy. I do have water though, I'm glad to have that. And in the morning, I will try to wake up and catch some breakfast. This is what my room is looking like tonight. So we got some burnt logs, my pillow that apparently works, some water, a little duct tape left, and a lighter. This isn't scary at all. There is now little to no light outside. I just have to stay calm and know that Grayson is too much of a little bitch to sleep outside. Phone is now at 4%. I have zero shelter at all. Instead of playing throw a stone in the triangle of sticks game, I should have been making shelter. There's no way Grayson's lasting. There's zero way. I'm literally getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> you know what I should have done a while ago? Look at the weather reports. Thunderstorms tomorrow. You know that better clear up. My phone just stopped. Ow! I'm getting eaten alive! There's no way I'm gonna be able to sleep. At least for another couple hours. This is scary. So I'm in bed, I got my candle, my fire, and uh, my roof. It is dark and I'm in the middle of the woods. This fire is really keeping the bugs off me. I haven't had one bug land on me yet. Oh! Luckily, I didn't go on my phone all day and said I built a house, so my phone has battery. It half died, but I got half left, so that'll last me the night. Tomorrow should be interesting. I'm definitely going to need to eat if I want to 
last another night out here. I'm doing way better than I thought, and this bed is actually starting to feel really comfortable. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, hopefully. Peace. <laughs> it is literally pitch black outside. Well, obviously, even that's what happens at nighttime. But I'm not used to being in the middle of the woods when it's pitch black out. And I have my flashlight. I don't want to go anywhere, but where would I go? I have an idea. I'm gonna go try to sneak up on Grayson and scare him. What, what does this do? Dimmer, dimmer. Oh, I gotta have a party, I guess. All right, it's scare Grayson time. I don't wanna like turn the corner and then be looking at a scary animal right in the face. Okay, I'm getting closer. I think I see his candlelight. I think he's making a fire. I don't think he sees me. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Did I just seriously get you that bed? I thought you were gonna be sleeping. No. Dude, what is this? What did you make? Is this a working bed? Yes, it's a working bed. Why is there milk on the ground? It's candle wax, I spilled my candle. You made a fireplace? Yeah. Dude, what? Bro, you need to have a fire. Or else bro, you're why are you so good at this? This is weird, this is suspicious. Great, what? Why are you so dirty, bro? You gotta... Cause I made this. You did absolutely nothing to me. You probably ate pizza. I didn't eat pizza. <laughs> the fire. <laughs> All right, not gonna lie, this is pretty epic. You made a roof? Waterproof too. Check it out. Can I spit in it? No, stop. You're gonna hit me if you spit in it. <laughs> no, you just spat underneath it and got on my forehead. No, I think I spit on top of it, Grayson. I don't think it's as waterproof as you think. Dude, what the fuck? What if this collapses while you're sleeping? Dirty. All right, dude, are you sure you're gonna sleep out here? You're not scared of coyotes or bears? Yes, but no, I'm gonna do it. All right, um, I guess all the survival videos did pay off. Is there a little tempur action going on there? Oh, sh that bitch is tempur -Pedic. I seriously still can't believe you built this whole thing. I just didn't think that you were that tryhard. I also didn't think you were smart enough for this. It's not even smart. Alright. Alright, well I'm gonna go to bed. I'm going. I'm sleeping outside. Alright. Good night, bro. Good night, bro. I love you. Love you too. I was about to fall asleep and I feel this slimy thing on my hip. It's a freaking slug. Get off. Bye, slug. I have my phone light on. I swear I keep hearing sh My fire's almost gone. This is my view right now. My stomach's starting to hurt because I'm so hungry. All right, guys. For real this time, good night. I do not like this walk back by myself. I feel like I'm just gonna like turn a corner and there's gonna be like a big ass animal staring me in the face. Holy sh what was that? What the fuck was that? I just heard something. Holy sh I'm dipping. I'm running. <laughs> Wait, I hope Grace is okay. Should I go back and get him? If we literally want to survive without quitting, I think we have to work together. Oh, oh God, be careful! Ew! You're gonna eat that. Ow! Ow! Oh! I just got stung, like, bad. Why does it look like that? Yeah, bro, I swear, if it starts lightning out here, I don't know if we can stay out here. We could possibly get hypothermia if it really comes down. What's, What's up, up, guys? Everybody, go to last week's video. Pop, pop, a t pop a click on those end cards you see right there. On the subscribe button. Check out last week's video or subscribe. And we have some merch link in the bio. We have some of the merch link that's in the bio. It's so good merch. Super out, friend. <laughs>